Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be teaching you how you can create contexts in your Django admin. Now with these contexts, it is very helpful if you have a large application that has many apps and many models associated with your Django applications. Now, as you can see here, I have a lot of apps and a lot of models under the headings in Django admin. And this can be quite tedious at times if you want to look for something quickly and you want to find a way to simplify the process. So imagine in Django admin, if you have drop down menus to organize your models and apps. So as you can see here, my I have a context in place, which is sent to any out of this moment. Now let's say I want to click on e-commerce, for example, that's gonna show my payment app and my store app with associated models. And you'll notice that all of the other apps and all of the other models are gone from our view. This makes it very easy if we just want to organize and structure our application in Django admin more effectively as we read through our app. You also have, for example, customers. That's going to show my CRM app and the associated models. Default authentication is going to just show my authentication authorization app with the group and user model. And of course, if I navigate to any, it's going to show my entire set of registered apps and models for my Django application. So that is what we're going to be learning in this video. Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial, which is going to be focused on learning how we can group our Django apps and models into a context. So this particular context, we can utilize a drop down menu to switch between them. Now to give you more clarity, I'm going to demonstrate in this video how you can go ahead and set that up and essentially group your apps and your models in Django admin. So to do so, we're going to use the Django admin context package to integrate this within our applications. Now, just to give you some clarity and just to give you a bit of insight before we get started, this is going to work best if you have a project, a Django project that has multiple apps and models under those apps. So let me give you some clarity in my project first. So I have a CRM app here. So that stands for customer relationship and that is going to be focused on dealing with a lot of details on the client side. So let me give you some insight here. So if I click on CRM and I navigate to my models.py file, you can see here for this particular app on CRM, I have a customer model, I have a task model, a contact model for my customers, and I have a note model as well. Okay, so as you can see here, this is all going to pertain to a customer relationship sort of application here for this app. I also have, if I head on to my directory here, I have another app, which is my payment app. And this is going to be a little bit more obvious. And in this model here, I in this models.py file here, I have, for example, information pertaining to my order items, um, an order that I've made and a shipping address. So that pertains to my payment app. I also have a store app as well. So let me show you here for clarity. So if I go to my models.py file here and this app here in the models.py file, it's going to have a category model for all of the various categories for products and also a product model for all of the list of individual products. So categories can be um, shirts, shoes, and products can be more specific for that category. So it can be a green shirt and red um, shoes as an example. So I'm just giving you here a bit of an oversight for what you would need first to use this package. Now you don't need to, you need to at least have, how can I say at least a, um, a Django app with a few models to get started. So this is roughly what you would be expected to have. Now, what you can do then is let's head on over to our Django admin and make sure that you have a super user. If you're unsure of how to create one, I'll show you quickly how to do that. So you can say Python manage.py create super user. And I'm going to call this user honor2. Skip the email and I'll put in a password. And again, Okay, and I'm just going to run my server like such. 
Okay, great. And now let's refresh. Okay, so you want to head on over to the Django admin now. So you can just put in localhost and then forward slash admin. And now you can just enter in your credentials for your super user. Right, so once you've done so, you can go ahead and log into the Django admin. And as you can see here, we have our apps and our models. So you can see here, I have an authentication authorization app. So this is the default with a group and user model. Under my CRM model, which I, my CRM app, excuse me, I have the following models that I went through. Contact, uh, customer, note, task. And then under my payment app, I have order items, order, shipping address. And then I have, of course, my store app which has the category and product model. Now let's say we want to group these up. So let's say we want our payment app and our store apps models to be under one heading itself. And we want to group it because it would make more sense and it will be clearer. Or let's say you want to group all of our custom apps and models into one context. You don't want it to be separate as we can see here. Now, to achieve that goal, we can use Django admin context to group our apps and models. So let's go ahead and set that up. So what you can essentially do for the moment here is you can just log out out of the Django admin and just head onto the default page. So let's go ahead and get started with utilizing this um, package. All right. So what you can do is go ahead and copy the following. Head on over to your server and you just want to install pip. You want to say pip install Django admin. Oh, let's go up. Django admin context. So make sure you've gone ahead and added that in. Um, I'll just do it again so you can see. So pip install Django admin context. So make sure you've installed that within your project in your virtual environment. There we go. Okay, great. So let's continue. And then what we're going to want to do is we want to add in the Django admin context to our settings.py file. And it needs to be right above or before, as they say, the django.contrib.admin um, default app here in our list of installed apps. So you can copy the following here, a Django admin context. And you can go to your main project settings.py file, like so. And we can scroll down to installed apps and right here above django.contrib.admin you can paste in the following right on top so it overrides it great so we've got that set now the next thing you need to do is run your migrations so what we can do is just say python manage.py migrate so you want to make those migrations for that installed app and there we go so make sure that you've got that into place. So that would be the next step here. As you can see, you want to run pysmanage.py migrate. Okay, so we've got that set up. So I've already got that already integrated. So just make sure you run the following and that it's applied that migration for you. Great, so what we can do now is run our server. And you want to go to the Django admin. And once again, you want to log in with your super user credentials. Perfect. And now you can go ahead and log into the Django admin. And there we go. So as you can see now, we have a drop down menu for us to filter a particular context. If we scroll down now, you can now see that we have a Django admin context app with admin context here set. So I'm going to give you a few examples so that you can understand how this is going to work. So as of the moment, the default for context, the drop down is set to any. So it's going to show all of your apps and all of your models. Now, let's say you want to create something specific. Let's say we want to group our payment app and associated models and our store app and associated models into a context. We only want to show um, these apps and their models only. So we can create a context to group them. So here under admin context, we can just click on that, on that model, and we can create a new admin context. Now there is more advanced logic in this um, functionality here. For example, you can add in a slug as well, um, and that you would need to read the documentation on about. I will be sure to attach some information that I can find on this package where you can read, where you, where you can possibly read more about it if there is something available. So I'm just going to add in a slug here and I'm just going to call this um, context one as an example. And then the name here, I'm going to set as e-commerce. Uh, 
Okay, because the two apps here, Payment and Store, pertain to e-commerce. So it only makes sense to create a context that's going to be related to this. Then a description here, I'm going to say as, um, I'm going to say um, this is related to my e-commerce functionality. It, then you can scroll down and you can see all of the models that are currently part of um, your Django application. So make sure that you've registered this as well. So what I mean by that is just make sure that for each of the apps here that you have that, for example, in CRM, you can see in my admin.py, I've registered all the associated models and I've done so for the other apps as well. So make sure that you've gone ahead and registered um, those models so that they appear here and that you can select them here. Now, in order to set up your context, you're going to have to hold down control or the command on a Mac to select more than one. So what I'm going to do is select everything that pertains to e-commerce functionality, and that will be every all the models under my payment um, app and all the models under my store app. So let's take a look here. So we have store and payment. So I'm going to just click on store, hold control, um, still holding control, and then I want to click on category. You want to highlight them, um, hold control, and then left click on payment. Scroll down, keep, I'm still holding control, payment shipping address, and payment order item. And this all pertains to e-commerce functionality. Everything else is kind of out of scope and make sure they're highlighted, the ones that you would like, and then you can release control and say save. And there we go, we've created our context, which is called e-commerce, which is related to my e-commerce um, functionality when it was created, the updated time, and we've got a slug here as well. So let me click on e-commerce, and I can see that if you scroll down now, you can see everything that was um, selected here you should be able to see it in any case. But to show you some clarity as to if it has worked successfully, you can go back to the home page here. And now under context, you can see you now have an e-commerce context. So that's now going to filter all of the apps and models that pertain to e-commerce. So I'm gonna click on e-commerce. And now you're only going to see everything that pertains to e-commerce. So I have my payment app, my store app, and all of the associated models. I don't have all of uh, everything else that I had before that didn't pertain to my context. Okay, so any is the default, and then you can switch to e-commerce. So let's go ahead and make this a bit more interesting. So let's do another example. So for example, here I have CRM, and let's say I only want to manage my customers in terms of the customer of my customer relationships. So let's go ahead and set up a context for that. We can go to admin context, add admin context, and I'm gonna call this context two. And I'm just gonna say, uh, let's call this uh, customers as an example. Uh, description here, I'm gonna say this is mainly for customers, for customer management as an example. Okay, so this will be under the CRM app. So let's look for everything under CRM. See so here, I have note, highlight, remember is control and hold. Okay, so there's only four models. Let's confirm, yes. Release control, press save. And then we have a customer's um, context. So let's create one also for the default authentication authorization app with um, group and user. So let's say C we want to create a new admin context, so context three, and I want to call this um, default authentication. Okay, so managing, managing default authentication. Okay, so we can see from this app here, it's going to be authentication authorization for the following. So I'm just going to select authentication authorization and the models that are associated with it, they're highlighted, scroll down, say save. And now we can see we created three contexts and you can see we've got a description for them, the context and the name for them. So let's go ahead and test this out. So any is going to by default show all of your apps and models. Now let's go to e-commerce like we did before, shows the payment and store app and the associated models. Let's go to customers. It's going to show my CRM app with associated models. If I go to default authentication, it's going to show that authentication app that we have along with the group and user model, which is upon default. Now this is very helpful if you have a lot of um, 
if you have a lot of apps and you have a lot of models and you just want to filter the view for you. So you're essentially adding in filters just to make sure that you can navigate carefully between your application so that it's clear and in place. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial. And as always, thank you for support and I'll see you next time. So thank you again and goodbye.